Hi, my name's Sydney Gregson from Saracens Women and you're watching The Women's Rugby Show. Hello, hello and welcome back to The Women's Rugby Show. I'm Sam Byler and today I'm here with episode 9 of our season review series. We're on to our final two and it's a turn of Saracens, the losing finalists in this year's Premier 15s. From Saracens, we're speaking to May Campbell, their hooker, who finished so high up on the try scoring charts this season. So we're really interested to see what she has to say about Saracens' season. If you haven't seen the rest of our videos, make sure you click here to watch the playlist. But before we get into this video, make sure you like this video on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube as well, and also check us out across all social media. Let's get into it. So first of all, May, thanks a lot for joining us. How are you and how have you been since the final a couple of Sundays ago? Um, thanks, yeah, I've been well. I've been enjoying the nice weather and the time off. And although the first weekend I was sort of twiddling my thumbs, not knowing what to do without a game. But no, I think my body's definitely looking forward to the rest that I'm having at the moment. And overall then, how did you feel the season went from a personal point of view, but also from a Saracens point of view? Obviously disappointing to lose that final, but overall, how do you feel it went? Um, yeah, it felt a bit sort of disjointed with all the stops and starts with like, various different like COVID regulations and outbreaks that, that we had. So it, it was obviously quite a long season, but it didn't quite feel like that. Um, but I think for me personally, I really enjoyed the season because I was lucky enough to play as much as I did. So it definitely helps when, when you're getting the game time that you want and then as a team yeah it was it was a good season but then obviously we fell short at the end and I think there are elements like throughout the season that we should have put right in terms of our performances like the two losses that we had um against Wasps and Exeter um I think yeah those occasions is where you learn quite a lot and I think we did and we came back and um, we're able to rectify some of those mistakes, but ultimately we, we just weren't good enough in the end. So looking into like some little details of the season, what would be your kind of game of this season, one of the highlights of the season in terms of games? Um, I think I quite liked Gloucester Hartbury away. Um, I think I managed to get a hat-trick in that one from like the driving walls, but I just remember I was like going there because it's like a memory down, a uh, trip down memory lane even, and they, yeah, it's just quite a fun game to play against, fun team to play against. And also, I think there's quite a lot of like running rugby, if that makes sense. Like one of the tries, I, can't, I think that Eloise scored. It was just like a great link up play, and that sort of sticks in my mind. I'm pretty sure we were there for that one, actually, at Hartbury Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, we spoke afterwards. Yeah. And then, would the moment of the season be that hat trick as well, or have you got a, kind of another individual moment or is it um I was trying to think of like a specific moment I think obviously extra at home was a good game to invite them back and win and that was obviously a very tough game I'm trying to think of like a specific moment of which I just loved i'm trying to think i'd probably have to say like the semi-final was having like the crowds back i think like and then after that like being able to see my parents again that would be my moment of the season how important do you think having crowds back was um, in those like final two games hugely important i think a lot of us had almost forgotten what it's like having the crowd there and then when we ran out and not not that like, the crowds were like massive but just like hearing them just sort of gives gives you goosebumps and it reminds you it's sort of like why you're doing it and also you're obviously there to try and like inspire younger people to pick up and try and play rugby and so for them to be able to see it live is just great and moving on to kind of your toughest game what who would that be would it be one of those quins games oh. i'd say extra away was the mm. toughest game just in terms of, they were just so physical. The pitch wasn't great. The weather wasn't great. And then obviously like the bus journey back after losing and we just didn't turn up at all. Just like all round was, wasn't good at all. So 
that one I think sticks in my mind. And obviously, there's so many high quality players in the Premier 15s. He would be your toughest ind individual opponent from this season. Oh, um, I think I think I'd probably have to say Helena Rowland just with her running game, her kicking ability. Um, you just don't really quite know what you'll do. So often I try to make sure I'm not standing opposite her. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd have to say Helena. And from a Saracens point of view, who would be your Saris player of the year for this season? I think going on form and obviously the award that she won yesterday, it would, it would have to be Poppy just because um, she just brings something different to the game, like her physicality, her dominance, but also her game knowledge is just second to none. And she always says the sort of most obvious but unobvious things that then make you see stuff in a different light. And she can obviously have those, or she has those, uh, she has the ability to um, change games and before when there's like big moments, whether that be like putting in a cracking hit or a turnover. Marley's similar, but I, I think I'd have to sway with Poppy and get on like the Poppy Cleo hype, basically. <laughs> and if you were to pick someone from Saracens to, as someone to kind of watch out for for next season, maybe a rising star next season, who would you pick for that? Um, well, she didn't play this season because of visa issues, but I'd have to say Alex Ellis, the Canadian, um, international because she every week she turns us training and brings it and it's just been such a shame she hasn't been able to play this season so I cannot wait to take to the field with her next year or this year at, yeah looking ahead to next season and what kind of are your aspirations personally and then from a Saracen's point of view as well um I think <laughs> Is it's just to continue to obviously develop my game as much as possible. There, there are elements that I think are huge weaknesses for me, um, and to hopefully continue to put my name forward to to be in that starting shirt. But I know that I've sort of been quite lucky this season in terms of the lack of injuries that I've had, but then also the injuries that other hookers have had, which has given me that opportunity. So I just need to make sure. I think I want to like. It, I think it's been a good season, but I just need to like kick on in quite a lot of areas personally um, to to keep putting my name on, on that name sheet, basically. And obviously, you, yourself and Lark, obviously, really high up in the try scoring rankings for the season. Do you think that's kind of down to a little bit in a change of rules? So there's been no scrums, and there's been a lot more focus on that driving more. Um. I, I think yes and no, because I think a lot of, uh, if, like, if you look in the men's game, a lot of tries are scored from, from driving malls and, and hookers tend to get their name up there just because it tends to be who, get, who gets on the ball. So, um, yeah, sort of yes and no in terms of the, the change in laws that we've had this season, but I'm definitely looking forward to them going back to normal. <laughs> And obviously the leagues this year has had the introduction of Exeter, introduction of Sale, and it's kind of made the league so much more competitive. Obviously, yourselves lost to Exeter, and then Sale beat Exeter, and then Worcester beat Sale. So it seems like everybody can beat everyone. How important do you think that is for the growth of the Premier 15s and the growth of the women's game? Oh, it's hugely important, and it's, and it's shown that with the league getting far more competitive. And before it was kind of like top three teams being pushed and now it's it's everyone and I think the best way in order to improve players is providing them with an environment to hopefully thrive in but be under pressure so having games week in week out which allow you to do that makes a massive massive difference to player development whether you're 18 just starting out or you're a rocky as well so um yeah, I'm, I'm just so glad to see that there's obviously sort of more funding and people have the opportunity to almost be in a professional environment. And 
obviously the final was live on BT Sport as well. How important do you think that will be for the women's rugby game to have a platform to shine on? Oh, oh, yeah, hugely important. Just getting or well, making the game more accessible for people to choose to watch and to think, because I know that obviously lots of people haven't thought that women's rugby is, is even a sport that's, that's sort of semi-serious or, or whatever, but to be able to tune in and actually think, oh, it's exactly the same, it's exactly the same as the men's and, and then continue then to have that interest and hopefully then support the women's team that the men have or just follow players, it, it makes such a difference be, for people to be able to tune in basically. And finally, um, before I let you get on with the rest of your day, what would be your three-word season review for this season? If you could narrow it down. Um, I'd say frustrating, uh, exciting, and also, just to say it's been tough. So, yeah, those are my three. So, hey, thanks a lot for chatting to us today. Enjoy the rest of your summer before pre-season starts and good luck for next season as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Hi, my name is Scarlett from South Sharks and you've been watching the Women's Rugby Show.